Hey, Space Watchers, and welcome to our Space Nugget of the Week. It's been quite a while on the launcher side after a flurry of announcements over the past few years. We are now seeing real proof points as Europe's launcher's ambition get put to work. Let's begin with the backbone, Ariane 6 and Vega. Europe is pushing to ramp institutional launch cadence. Ariane 6 is aiming for four flights in 2025, including an Ariane 6-4 with four booster in this version. But yes, they're having scaled back from an earlier target of six as announced by ESA. But quality and success matter. Vega C, meanwhile, has contracts to increase its flight rate as well. These systems are no longer just experimental. They're being pressed into services as Europe's sovereign workhorses. A particular strategic move, Germany's decision to fly SATCOM BW3 military communication satellite on Ariane 6. This ties German defense communications directly into Europe's heavy launcher architecture. A strong signal that launchers are now critical infrastructure, not just scientific or commercial acts. That also is part of a shifting narrative in space communication. While the institutional rockets are ramping up, startups are capturing attention, especially around financing and status. Polaris Space Planes recently closed an oversubscribed top up to its seed round, raising 5.4 million euro, pushing total funding to 12.4 million euro. In June 2025, Polaris signed a cooperation agreement with Deal Defense to integrate the Iris T air to air missile onto an unmanned Polaris carrier. It's a clear sign Polaris is positioning itself at the intersection of space and defense. The company is still in validation and development mode, but its credibility is rising. Remarkable, the German defense minister Boris Pistorius mentioned space planes in his historic speech on 25th of September in Berlin. That said, Bundeswehr looks very tight into that kind of technology for rapid response and placements of satellites and objects into orbit. On the more conservative side, High Impulse also grabbed headlines this week. It raised 15 million in a Series A plus 30 million in public funding, totaling 45 million euro. They are pushing ahead with their SL-1 orbital rocket and scaling production. Already, the company has locked suborbital tests with SR-75 and they see SL-1 reaching payloads of about 600 kilograms to orbit. This is the kind of pace Europe need. More capital matches with engineering discipline. And let's not forget, ESA Aerospace, Rocket Factory Augsburg and PLD Space and others are being active behind the scenes, preparing their next campaigns, bidding for institutional contracts, especially ESA and EU and lining up scaling steps. So where do we stand now? The silence has broken. The hype is turning into funding, contracts and test flights. Institutional systems like Ariane 6 and Vega are evolving from promise to cadence and Germany is anchoring its own military payloads on Europe's launchers. And the private players are not longer waiting in the wings. They are getting real backing to fly. In Germany, we now have money backing defense ambitions. The old refrain of no money but time is being replaced by money, now no time to waste. The clock is ticking. Europe's launcher ecosystem needs to deliver. And let's face it, as institutional money flows into the space market in numbers, private capital will follow, potentially in larger numbers, from Europe and overseas. Interesting times we are in. This was your Space Nugget of the Week. Space Watch out.